This is a 12-year-old male with chronic headaches and new-onset diabetes insipidus. Arising from the anterior surface of the infundibulum, there is a circumscribed centrally cystic lesion. On the sagittal T1-weighted images, the central cystic component demonstrates signal intensity slightly greater than the surrounding CSF space. On the flare-weighted image, there is hyperintense signal within the central cystic component compatible with a combination of hemorrhage and proteinaceous fluid. The high-resolution fluid-sensitive sequences demonstrate a lesion with a thin margin abutting the posterior and inferior aspect of the optic chiasm with slight anterior and superior displacement and deformity. The post-contrast T1-weighted images demonstrate a thin enhancing margin of the infundibular lesion. The general differential includes adamantinomatous craniopharyngioma, Rathke's cleft cyst, and infundibular cyst. On further evaluation with CT, there were a few faint calcifications within the lesion wall. On resection, this was found to be a cystic craniopharyngioma. Craniopharyngioma are thought to arise via two mechanisms, the first as remnants of the craniopharyngeal duct, while the second is from squamous epithelial cells of the pars tubularis of the adenohypophysis. 75% of the adamantinomatous subtype tend to be in the supracellular compartment, with the possibility of extension into the surrounding cranial fossa.